friends today we are going to see how to find out the maximum difference in an array means we have to find out the maximum difference between two elements in an array so in this problem there are two cases so the first case is we have to find out the difference between any two elements in the array means those elements can be at any position and the case second is the max element comes after mean element so in this case there is a condition for the positions of the elements means the max element position should come after the mean element position okay so let's see these two cases at first and then we will go for the algorithm so let's go ahead now see first case any two elements in the array so suppose this is the array and you can see the elements are 50 40 4 10 45 and 15 now you see if we have to find out difference between any two elements in the array then the logic is you have to find out max in that array then find mean in that array and once you find out max and mean take the difference max minus mean and this will be your maximum difference in the array okay this will be the max difference max minus mean so see in this array see 50 is the maximum element in this array and what is the minimum element see 4 is the minimum element so what is the difference 50 minus 4 so here max minus mean i'll write it here see max is 50 and mean is 4 so the maximum difference here will be 40 6 50 minus 4 equal to 46 is the maximum difference now the second case max element comes after mean element so here you see what is the mean element this 4 is the mean element but the max element here 50 cannot be taken in the difference because the max element should come after minimum element so the minimum element is 4 so we have to find out the max element in the next part of the array after the mean element okay so what is the max element in the latter part of the array so that is here 45 okay 45 minus 4 so that is 41 so in this case too see here 41 is the max difference okay so this is the max difference 41 and in this case it is 46 because it is any two elements in the array and here the max element should come after mean element so 50 cannot be taken we have to take the max element which comes after the mean element okay so the main algorithm deals with this case this case is easy right but in this case how to write that for loop what should be the logic for that because here in this case see as we go further the minimum element keeps updating means as we go further in the array we can get a new minimum right and then we have to search for the maximum element after that minimum element correct so in this case you have to keep updating the minimum element and the difference that's the maximum difference right so let's see the algorithm now so you see here this is the case one that is find the max difference in the whole array means we have to find two elements in the whole array one is the minimum element and other is the maximum element that's what we have to find out and we have to take the difference so that's what is written here right so see here initialize mean equal to a of 0 so a of 0 is 50 so i initialize 
min variable to 50. See, these are the variables in this code. Okay. So, max equal to a of 0. So, max equal to a of 0 means 50. A of 0. Now, let's go for the actual for loop, actual algorithm. Now, see, for i equal to 1 to n. See, because we have handled the 0th index, now we start from 1 and we go till n. So, see, the first statement is regarding the maximum element. See, if a of i is greater than max, means currently i is 1, right? For this iteration, i is 1. So, whether 40 is greater than max, means whether 40 is greater than 50, no. It is not. So, we don't go inside this if condition. Now, we let's go to next statement. Next if condition that is B. And the condition is if A of I is less than mean. So, for this mean, we are checking this condition. If A of I is less than mean. So, see. A of I means what? A of 1. So, that is 40. So, whether 40 is less than 50? Yes, it is. So, we go inside this if condition and we assign a of i to mean, means mean equal to a of i. So, what is currently a of i? So, that is a of 1 and a of 1 is 40. So, mean becomes 40. Correct? Now, see this statement is over here and this is the ending of this for loop means see this is the for loop these two statements are executed and we go for the next iteration okay so now in the next iteration i will become 2 because i was 1 currently now i will become 2 okay so now for i equal to 2 what is the value 4 so check whether 4 that is a of i is greater than max whether 4 is greater than 50 no it is not so let's go to condition b whether 4 is less than mean whether 4 is less than 40 yes it is so we update this mean with 4 mean equal to a of here 2 because it is equal to a of i right now let's go to the next iteration now i equal to 3 it's here now check whether 10 is greater than 50 10 is greater than 50 no it is not so we co come to condition b so whether 10 is less than 4 no it is not so both conditions are not satisfied so we don't go inside this if condition we just reach to the end of this for loop and we move on to the next iteration now i will become 4 correct because it was 3 i plus plus will become 4 now so now it is 45 whether 45 is greater than 50 no it is not and in the condition b whether 45 is less than 4 no it is not so we go to next iteration now i will become 5 whether 15 is greater than 50 no it is not and whether 15 is less than the mean means whether 15 is less than 4 no it is not so we go to the next iteration now in the next iteration i becomes 6 right i equal to 6 but see the array size itself is 6 and the index is from 0 to 5 correct so when i becomes 6 we come out of this for loop because this condition is not satisfied right so now max difference equal to max minus mean this is the step which we have to solve now so first step is done now we go to the second step this for loop is over now we go to this statement so max diff equal to max minus mean so what is max 50 minus mean so max minus mean will become 46 so max diff equal to 46 so this is how this algorithm is executed now let's go to the case 
2. Now you see this is the case 2. It is the same array and here some variables are declared. See here difference, current max difference and current mean. So current max difference and current mean are the variables which keep updating. So let's read the algorithm. See current mean equal to a of 0. So current mean will be initialized to a of 0. So that is 50. Let me write 50 here. A of 0. I will give index here. Check. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are the indices. A of 0 is 50. Right. And current max diff equal to minus 1. So we initialize it to minus 1. The value minus 1. Because in the next iteration, current maximum difference is going to get updated, right? Currently, we don't know what is the max. We are going to search for max, which comes after this current mean, right? So, we are going to do that. Before doing that, we initialize the current max diff to minus 1. You will understand this further. Just initialize it to minus 1 here, okay? And this is the difference variable which will be addressed in the for loop, okay? So, see here, this is the for loop and these are the three main statements in the for loop, these three main statements, one, two, three, these three statements. So, this diff statement is related to this box, this variable diff. This if condition, this block, this if condition and its statement, this block is related to this variable current max diff and this if condition is related to this statement this current mean block okay so let's execute this for loop right and see how we find out the max element after the current minimum element means max element which comes after the current minimum element okay so see here first i equal to 1 so we come here i equal to 1 so the value is 40 you see diff equal to a of i means a of 1 so the value is 40 minus current mean what is the current mean that is 50 so 40 minus 50 diff is minus 10 okay this value is minus 10 here it is updated now you check if diff is greater than current max difference whether minus 10 is greater than minus 1 this current max difference no it is not minus 10 is less than minus 1 right so this condition is not satisfied now in the next if condition so this if condition is for updating the minimum element this if condition is for finding out the minimum element okay i will write it here find mean and this if condition is for finding out the difference finding out the current max diff okay this variable and here this variable now we updated this current max diff here we checked this condition now we go to the next condition see if a of i is less than current mean so whether a of i means the current element that is 40 whether it is less than the current mean 40 is less than 50 yes so we find out the new mean current mean equal to a of i so the current mean is 40 now we found out the new mean okay so when we find out the new mean now we have to find out the max after this new mean max after this new mean so from the next iterations here we will find out the max element which comes after this mean okay so let's go to the next iteration now i becomes currently it was 1 now i is equal to 2 okay and the value is 4 here so see now a of i is 4 4 minus current mean. What is current mean? 40. So, 4 minus 40 is minus 36. So, this diff gets updated to minus 36. Correct? Now, let's check the if condition here. 
if diff is greater than current max difference so whether minus 36 is greater than minus 1 no it is not minus 36 is less than minus 1 okay so this if condition is not satisfied let's go to the next if condition now see whether a of i means currently what is a of i 4 whether 4 is less than current mean whether 4 is less than 40 this current mean yes it is so current mean gets updated to 4 right this iteration is over let's go to the next iteration now i becomes 3 currently it was 2 now it becomes 3 okay and the value is 10 so check the first statement diff equal to a of i minus current mean so what is a of i currently that is 10 and what is current mean that is 4 see what is current mean here that is 4 so 10 minus 4 so diff is equal to 6 10 minus 4 is 6 so i'll write 6 here right diff is equal to 6 now let's go to the next statement that is the if condition if diff is greater than current max difference so whether diff that is 6 is it greater than current max difference minus 1 yes it is this if condition is satisfied we go inside this and we execute this statement so the current max difference gets updated to diff so current max diff equal to diff so current max difference gets updated to diff this value 6 right because that diff is greater than the current max difference we assign this diff to the current max difference right and now let's go to the, the third statement see if a of i is less than current mean so we have to update the minimum now check whether 10 is less than 4 no see currently what is a of i it is 10 so whether 10 is less than this current mean 4 no it is not so we don't update the current mean right this if condition is over let's go to the next iteration now i will become 4 the value is 45 so difference is equal to 45 minus current mean that is 4 so what is the difference 41 41 so whether this difference 41 in this if condition whether this difference is greater than current max difference whether 41 is greater than 6 yes so we update the current max difference to 41 right now this if condition is done let's go to the third if to update the minimum now you see what is a of i currently that is 45 so whether 45 is less than current mean that is 4 no it is not so this condition is not satisfied so we don't update the current mean we go to the next iteration now i becomes 5 the value is 15 so in this for loop check 15 minus current mean 15 minus 4 it is 11 so diff is 11 and next condition if diff is greater than current max difference whether 11 is greater than 41 no it is not so this condition is not satisfied now this condition if a of i what is a of i currently that is 15 whether 15 is less than current mean whether 15 is less than 4 what is current mean 4 15 is less than 4 no it is not so we go to the next iteration now now i becomes 6 correct this 6 but this array is over so we come out of this for loop right we come out of this for loop and we come out of this algorithm so our answer is this current max difference so the max difference in the array is 41 for this case where max comes after the mean element so this is how we find out the maximum difference in an array so this logic is used for stock buy and sell problem we are going to see that in our next video okay thank you